Hi there beautiful souls and welcome or welcome back to Clutch Tarot. My name is Jane and I'm here with another pick card reading for you. And today we are looking at what do you need to know. So this could be what you need to know about the situation, about this person, whatever spirit wants you to know at this time. We have three options here for you today and we have option number one, option number two and option number three. If you need more time, pause the video here, otherwise I shall see you at your time stamp and we'll have a look what does Spirit want you to know at this time. Hi there, option number one, those of you who chose the obsidian crystal, the um, snowflake obsidian, sorry, um, crystal, this is going to be our reading. What does Spirit want you to know about the situation, about this person, whatever it is today? Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you do enjoy the reading, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe, it means a lot to me. And if you leave a comment on one of my videos, you could be the lucky winner of the free reading that I give away each month. So we have the Queen of Swords to open up your reading. We have the Hermit, we have the Emperor, we have the Ace of Wands, we also have the Nine of Swords, we have the Queen of Pentacles, trust in the process and believe in yourself, I'm not sure if that's going to focus, we've also got Pisces energy here for you, we've got the Arrow and we have in here as well. Okay, so what do you need to know, group number one? Definitely okay with the written words being here, okay? Trust in the process and believe in yourself, okay? I do feel that right now, and with this Nine of Swords energy actually, and the Hermit clarifying that. There could certainly be a time, okay, where you've been sort of going through it right now. There could be a lot that you have been experiencing, a lot of challenges you've been experiencing. But what I feel is really beautiful, okay, is that you is, you are coming out of the other end of that. There is um, finally hope being uh, restored for you is something I'm getting here. I definitely feel, okay, that this challenging time, this stressful time, okay, this time of maybe isolation for some of you where you've really been doing a lot of soul searching, it is helping enable you to become uh, more empowered. I feel, okay, going forward, you are stepping into this beautiful emperor energy where you're really taking the lead in your own life here. I definitely feel a new passion of beginners on the horizon here for you. That's something else Spirit wants you to know at this time. A lot of inspiration could be coming towards you as well. I feel for a lot of you, okay, you could be kind of in the process of some kind of a rebirth here, okay, really um, coming out of your shell is another message I'm getting here for you. With the Queen of Swords here, okay, there is a message here for you and the fact that I feel that you're You've levelled up is something I'm getting here, okay, perhaps you've been in the, the process of ascension here, you've um, said goodbye to old patterns, old thought patterns, you've released a lot of unwanted and unnecessary baggage is something I'm getting here. And as this process has occurred, I feel that you've found yourself in a position perhaps where you're going to be needing to set some healthy boundaries with people, okay, who just aren't on the same frequency as you is what I'm getting here. As you're having this glow up energy, you could be attracting a lot of people towards you. Some of these people are wonderful, like this is of um, Wands is suggesting, okay, brand new passionate beginning on the horizon here for you. And some of them are not so great and these healthy boundaries are going to be um, needed to be imposed in the future for you. I feel this is something, okay, that you are already aware of, something that you are already doing almost. I do feel, okay, Pisces season and we have... Um, this always kind of reminds me of May, okay, because dancing on the Maypole, okay, that could be very significant timing for you here. With this pin, okay, it says new job or career. I'm just noticing that now. And the Ace of Wands, of course, can speak about our um, work life, okay. So you could be having a new job offer that's coming in for you. For some of you, are getting okay that you could be a little bit stressed right now because finances are not quite as you would like them to be, as you require them to be, okay. And this new opportunity is going to be coming in towards you, where you really are going to be paid your worth. You really are going to be feeling very abundant going forward with this Queen of Pentacles here. It's a very grounded energy as well. I do feel for some of you, okay, you are very committed to yourself right now. There could also be the idea of a commitment coming towards you as well, a relationship or a business proposal for some of you. With the arrow here, okay, you are on the right path in regards to some aspect of your life. 
right now okay you might be sort of questioning that there could be a lot of stress am i doing the right thing am i on the right path this is confirmation the case spirit wants you to know today that you are on the right path you are heading towards this beautiful success is what i'm really getting for you i do feel okay there is this idea of either a new opportunity where you perhaps get promoted in work or you're going to be your own boss here you're going to be very successful when it comes to business as well I'm also getting with this Hermit, okay, and this um, Nine of Swords. For some of you, okay, maybe you've been in Hermit mode for quite some time. And now is the time, okay, for you to get back out there is what I'm getting. Now you've found this new boost of confidence, okay, this new whole version of yourself that is emerging here, okay. You can really seek for higher goals um, and being told to dream big as well, okay. So nothing is out of your reach at this time is what I'm getting. Spending time in meditation could be very beneficial for you. Spending quiet time alone, okay, um, to gain this inner wisdom, okay. But I'm also getting, okay, there needs to be a balance here. If you're for some of you, okay, you have kind of gone into this hermit mode and you're a little bit reluctant to sort of step out of it. Um, I know I myself, okay, I'm certainly uh, been in that situation um, myself where you kind of get comfortable in just being alone and that's absolutely beautiful. But then we can get sort of too comfortable there where we don't explore opportunities to venture out. I'm being told you should leave the house more. And that's probably a message for myself as well. Let us get some fairy oracles now. Though, and let's have a look further. What do you need to know, group number one? What do you need to know? So we've got motivation here this beautiful card here and it says when spring appears sorry when spring approaches the flower fairies urge you to spring into action if there is something you have merely been thinking about doing they say get busy and do it that's definitely kind of like this hermit vibe okay to this ace of wands okay finding that uh, motivation okay stepping outside of your comfort zone and actually taking action but i feel a lot of you having wonderful inspirational ideas right now and they're staying sort of stuck in this idea phase where you could be and um, expanding on this and you could actually be very successful in doing so the springtime again i want to say okay could be very significant for some of you here i was going to put that there okay uh could be very significant for some of you okay from pisces season so from the sort of um middle of February okay through to March and with this Pisces energy being here as well okay there could be something very artistic that you're interested in. there's definitely um, a creative energy around you at this time as well and at the bottom of this deck we've got the beautiful card flourish and it says the lotus fairy flower flower fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any areas of your life that are unclear on your life and in those of others so i do feel you've got this beautiful loving energy okay that you've um, done a lot of self-reflection like i say you're on the right path here um, and now it's time for you to flourish i also feel like i said there could be the need for boundaries here because as you're going through this glow of this beautiful healing energy that you have it is very appealing to everybody around you 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 are possibly you know a light worker a star seed here i feel okay you've been through a lot of darkness and maybe you're still in the sort of tail end of that darkness but now it's time for for new beginnings for fresh ideas for fresh perspectives and for you to truly see yourself in the beautiful light that you are um holding music could be very significant for some of you okay we've got the music card under here as well and this card says listen carefully for any but there could be messages in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories and chant fairies to your door. So yeah, music could be very significant. Like I say, creative energy for sure around you. Um, and I definitely feel a very um, a very abundant future on the horizon here for you, group number one. Let's have a look a little bit further and get some guidance for you as well. What else does group number one need to know? What does group number one need to know? This one wants to come out. And we have white buffalo calf woman. And it's this beautiful image here. If it's going to focus. And it says, the profiteer of sacred way. 
My heart is the compass, the path of love is true. Abundance, absolutely beautiful. I do feel, okay, this um, this whole new beginning, okay, it is something that is going to be coming from a heart space for you. It is something that's going to be very soul felt for you. I definitely feel, okay, that you are on the right path here. You are allowing yourself to soar, okay. Um, with this heart message as well, okay, be sure to keep your heart open. Because like I say, for some of you, there could definitely be um, a brand new passionate beginning in romance. As well as in this business opportunity that I feel is coming towards you. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Black Madonna, our Lady of the Hermits. Now, that's interesting with you having the Hermit. And like I say, I do feel for a lot of you kind of be in that Hermit mode. And now Spirit is kind of encouraging you out of that, okay, to uh, explore what is available to you. Now that you're the master of your own destiny, is something I'm getting here. And the message on here says, I transform pain and suffering into a greater capacity to love. That is absolutely beautiful because I do feel, okay, you are my life workers. You are the people out there who do have this beautiful ability, okay, to endure a lot. And perhaps you have had very challenging times in life. But what you've done with those challenges, instead of becoming cold or bitter, you've actually managed to turn it into a greater capacity or to love into a greater capacity to be compassionate and to help others um, on your journey here as well. So that's what I've got for you, group number one. That's what Spirit wants you to know today. I hope it's been helpful. If you've enjoyed, then do leave me a like. And I will catch you in another reading soon. Have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye. Hi there, group two. Welcome to your reading. Those of you who chose this beautiful crystal here, this is going to be... What does Spirit want you to know about this situation, about this person, whatever it is that's going to come through for you today? So we are opening out your reading with the Hanged Man. We have the Three of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Cups. Oops, the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. And you actually got an extra tarot card, and that is the beautiful lover's energy here for you. We have Earth. We also have the Hierophant, strong Taurus energy here for some of you guys. We've got the Hierophant twice, that's uh, very significant. We've got the month of October. And we have Diamond, absolutely beautiful. And the diamond message, okay, it's actually saying you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. And with this lover's energy there, okay, and that diamond, this could definitely be speaking of some kind of a marriage proposal. It could be speaking about meeting someone who is highly significant, okay, that could be um, a long-term significant partner for you, for some of you here. We also see that with the Hierophant here, okay, this higher level of commitment that is coming towards you. I think Spirit wants you to know, okay, that at this time, okay, that things might sort of be on a little bit of a pause here for you. That this Queen of Cups is kind of indicating here, okay, that there is an abundance of love around you at this time. I do feel, okay, for a lot of you, okay, you're going to be meeting someone who is very significant, perhaps even in the month of October, okay, which is really exciting, because of course that's when I'm recording this video. It is, of course, timeless, but that's when I'm recording. Or this could be speaking about a reconciliation. It could be speaking about a relationship you're currently in, being upgraded, going to the next level. I can't help but think about proposal, okay, we do actually have this couple, you know, with this hand fastening here. For some of you, okay, it's not necessarily going to be a traditional marriage, you could be moving in together, it doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, the official marriage, but I definitely feel that's the direction that you're heading towards. I also feel, okay, there's a lot more fun coming into your life, okay, in the very near future here. For some of you, okay, you've kind of been waiting, life's been on pause, okay, you maybe you've invested a lot in certain connection, okay, and um, now the fruits of your labour are coming in. Harvest season is very significant, you're, you're actually receiving the fruits of your labour. Taurus energy, like I say, is extremely strong on the table here. We've got Virgo, we've got Capricorn, we've also got Gemini's energy as well as Pisces. And we also have Scorpio and Cancer. That could mean something to you as well. 
I'm hearing that song Love is in the Air, okay? So I definitely feel that Love Cupid's Arrow is about to strike, okay? Or it has struck here. We do see in this card here, okay, this pregnant belly. So fertility could be very, um, could be highlighted at this time for you. That could be a beautiful blessing that is on the horizon for you. And of course, if that's not something that you wish to happen right now, then just bear that message in mind because I do feel it's a very fruitful time for you. I also feel, okay, there is an increase in your finances here. With the King of Pentacles, you're going to be finding yourself where you're going to be in a very financially stable position. I'm also getting, okay, with this hanged man, there's been a change of perspective. This could be you having a change of perspective. It could be somebody around you, okay, who's having this change of perspective. I definitely feel, okay, there is commitment on the horizon here for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. And for some of you, okay, this could have been a long time coming. It's almost like, okay, with this earth energy, what I'm getting here, okay, this is perhaps a very spiritual connection for a lot of you, okay, and there's been a lot of 5D activity for a very long time. It's like you're in union with this person, even if you've not met this person, okay, it's like maybe you're dreaming about this person, you just have this sense, okay, that this, this person is around your energy, okay, you feel them on the horizon here, but I definitely feel it could be a spiritual connection for some of you that, like I say, a lot of 5D activity, and it's finally being brought into the 3D with this King of Pentacles and this Earth energy here. I'm also getting here, okay, but how you are going to be soaring in your career, in your finances, they're really going to be taking off is something I'm getting here. You're going to be shattering um, limits as well. So perhaps this is, um, for some of you, okay, I'm getting running and it could be um, getting a new personal best, this kind of thing, okay. You're going to be smashing um, your previous targets, you're going to be um, smashing your goals, you're going to be really going places is something I'm getting here. I want to get some fairy oracles for you now for further confirmation of what is going on for you. I definitely feel there's a very loving connection around you, okay, that could lead to marriage, commitment for some of you here, okay. I feel you're going to be uh, made aware of this very soon, okay, if you're not already. I definitely feel that things are going to be taken off in your finances, in your career, even if things right now, okay, might seem a little bit slow. Even if you've invested a lot up until this point and you've not seen the rewards, keep going is what I'm getting because you are on the right path here. So for my fairy oracles, what other messages have we got? We've got the beautiful message of find balance here. And it says, find the balance between your work, rest and playtime and you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. Take a power nap. Absolutely beautiful. Don't work yourself too hard is definitely a message coming through with this card here. I also feel okay with this King of Pentacles, okay, perhaps you have been very focused on business, on your career, okay, or this could speak of somebody's energy around you, and now is the point where it's coming into balance. I also feel with this, okay, for some of you, if you have been dealing with this sort of very 5D connection, okay, up until this point, it is finding that balance. It's like I say, finding the more grounded energy and coming more into the 3D reality for you. At the bottom of the deck, we've got music, and group number one got that as well. Um, listen carefully, for there may be messages in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories, and chant fairies to your door. Absolutely beautiful. So music could be very significant for you, okay? Um, you could be hearing a lot of... A lot of messages within songs that you're listening to, okay? A lot of... Um, I'm actually getting ringing in my ears right now and that could be um, also what you're getting, okay, like this higher vibration. You could be picking up like wind chimey kind of sounds as well. I do feel a sound healing could be very important or significant for some of you here as well. And we've also got, okay, protect your dreams here. And it says you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Take them Keep them, sorry, close to your heart until you're ready to release them. And that's really beautiful. I do feel, okay, it's this case of dreaming big here. There could definitely be somebody around you who wants to surprise you as well as something I'm getting here. I feel you are very protected at this time, okay? You've been working perhaps behind the scenes, okay, on some creative projects and some sort of um, success here. And those things are going to start taking off for you is one thing I'm getting. 
I also feel okay with this protect your dreams this could certainly speak in of a spiritual connection where there is a lot of fighty activity where you are dreaming of this person where you are picking up on that energy as well and that connection is a protected connection is a divinely guided connection and you can have faith in it is something I'm guessing so from your guidance okay from the divine um, feminine oracle we've got Fatima the mother of imam, imams and it says love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion absolutely beautiful and that beautiful image there and we see the heart chakra okay being very lit up in that um picture there okay I do feel there's going to be a heart expansion an overflow of love here okay love is definitely in the air for you group number two we've also got your queen esther the morning star my ego is in service of my soul and I trust in my soul's divine timing. Absolutely beautiful. So this is all going to happen in divine timing, okay? I do feel, okay, there is this increased faith in yourself, okay? Increased faith in the universe is planned for you as well as what I'm getting. Um, you could be getting particular messages, okay, in the morning time, um, very significant messages in the morning for you. And I also feel, okay, there could even be the surrendering of the ego okay whether it's your energy or someone around you okay there is allowing for this beautiful love to unfold is what i'm getting here at the bottom of the deck we've got saraswati and it says the goddess of self-knowledge the essence of who i am flows effortlessly into everything i create absolutely wonderful again i want to say that creative that beautiful um expansion energy here okay you are creating something beautiful i do feel going forward okay there is going to be this beautiful creation of a relationship of a partnership of um something really dependable okay here and i also feel okay this is as a result of you having a lot of self-knowledge i do feel like you're also going to become very aware okay of your sort of goddess vibes okay male or female it doesn't matter okay embracing this beautiful divine feminine energy of receiving is what i'm getting from this as well so that's what i've got for you group number two that's what spirit wants you to know today i hope you've enjoyed the reading if you have please leave me a little comment tell me how it resonated with you uh, a like and i will catch you in another reading soon take care everyone bye Hi there, group number three, those of you who chose this beautiful crystal here. This is going to be a reading. What does spirit want you to know at this time about the situation, about this person, whatever it is that comes through for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Let us have a look at the tarot. We've got the moon. We have the nine of cups. We have the page of pentacles. The wheel of fortune. The knight of cups. And we have the King of Pentacles. We also have, you have magic in your, sh in your soul. Show the world your inner light. Beautiful message there for you. We've also got the Emperor's energy. We have needle and thread. And we have eye. Okay. What does spirit want you to know? Definitely you can trust in your intuition at this time. You are very gifted in that sense with this eye being here. Okay, you do have this psychic ability and you can trust what you feel. The moon is kind of clarifying that as well here. You've definitely got this beautiful inner light, okay, that perhaps you have been kind of keeping in the dark is something I'm getting with this moon's energy here. Okay, and now is your time to shine that beautiful light out. I feel, okay, there is a destined um, shift, a destined change. Okay, there is a whole new karmic cycle coming in here for you with this moon and this wheel of fortune as well. If things have been at all stagnant for you, okay, now this has been very purposeful and things are going to start moving forward for you. Anything that has been hidden from you, okay, any illusions perhaps, okay, anything that, um, anything that's been suppressed is what I'm getting here, okay, is about to come to the surface, is another message that Spirit wants you to know today. You've got wish fulfillment coming in without a shadow of a doubt, group number two, okay, with this nine of cups here and this needle and thread, what it says is a sincere wish is granted that's going to focus but not sure there we go 
So yeah, I can see a wish is going to be granted. And this could be certainly be speaking about a love proposal that's on its way to you with this Knight of Cups here. Yeah. It can also be speaking, okay, for some of you, it's not always going to be about love, okay, although a lot of the time it is. It could be speaking about a new opportunity, okay, that's coming towards you within your finances and career. That's going to really make you extremely emotionally happy, okay. You're going to be finding yourself in a very um, grateful space. Is something I'm getting here. It's something perhaps you've wanted for an awful long time. Definitely the idea of wishes being granted in the near future for you. And right now, okay, you may be feeling this is coming okay that there is this huge shift coming for you that this darkness can't last forever is what i'm hearing for some of you here with the emperor's energy okay this divine masculine it can be speaking about authority okay and it can speak about and um, structure as well and the king of pentacles here as well okay do feel okay the person um that you're going to be dealing with okay or the person you are becoming if it's not another person here okay is someone who is very in control of their own life someone who is very grounded somebody who's got a lot to offer financially someone who's very abundant here i see also okay you could be learning new skills in the near future you could be returning to school you could be doing new courses um <clears throat> Definitely a new approach on the horizon for you is something I'm getting here though. Definitely a time where you're going to be stepping out of the shadows and back into the light after perhaps a long time of um, hiding yourself away, like I say. For some of you, I feel that Halloween could be significant. Okay, perhaps you really enjoy that festival. Um, for others of you, it could just be a time frame, okay, so around the 31st of October. That could be significant here for you. I want to say, okay, for some of you, this is the end of a cycle, okay, that has been happening for um, a whole year at least, okay, it could even be years in the process, okay, with this Wheel of Fortune, because we do see on this card, got all the seasons being depicted, that so I do feel it's been a long time coming for you. I also get, okay, with this Emperor and this King of Pentacles, okay, that you are going to be very prosperous when it comes to your business ideas. You are going to have this opportunity to expand, um, in those fields and this is okay by gaining new skills and some of these new skills okay could even be in regards to your confidence your self-esteem okay having more faith in yourself because you really have got the capability um to go ahead and be very successful but for a lot of you i feel you could be doubting yourself at this time and spirit wants you to know that you've got this you're on the right path okay you are the master of your own destiny here and there are huge shifts and changes coming in um for you to expand here and for you to shine your beautiful light out there. I also get the message, okay, for some of you, you could be waiting on um, the right person to come along or waiting on a specific person to come through here for you, okay? And there is this idea of wish fulfillment, like I say, those wishes being granted for you. Something that you've been manifesting for a long time is about to come into fruition. It's another message I'm getting here for you, group number three. So let us now get some fairy oracles and we can find out further what the spirit wants you to know at this time. I just feel you're going to be really, really chill and happy in um, your environment, in your own life, okay, where, where you are is what I'm getting, okay, that you're feeling, you're not feeling the need then, okay, to be rushing ahead or distracting yourself, you're just enjoying the moment is something that I feel here. We've got wisdom here and it says, have you ever been told that you are wise beyond your years? Now is the time to call upon, upon the inner fairy wisdom to help you with a challenge. So for some of you, okay, this is about calling upon your angels, your ancestors, okay? But I feel it's more about trusting in your own intuition, trusting in that you have got enough to go forward is something that I'm getting. You're having this confidence, having self and self-esteem, okay? For some of you, it could, again, be gaining new wisdom, new skills here, okay? I feel you're an old soul, and that could cause for a lot of people to not understand you, and I feel perhaps in the past, okay, that has caused you to sort of dim your light or to step into the shadows, okay? And I feel now that you're in this place where you are totally comfortable with, with who you are, or this is the energy that's coming in for you, okay? Then you're going to be able to expand beyond um, your limiting beliefs that perhaps you're holding about yourself at this time is another message I'm getting here. Let us get another one. 
I feel also, okay, these um, cycles, these difficult challenging cycles that you have been experiencing, okay, you are someone who has learned the lessons from them. You're not necessarily somebody, okay, who repeats the same pattern, okay, or maybe you were in the past and that is something that you put a stop to is something I'm getting here as well. We've also got come together. I'm definitely feeling, okay, that there is this love offer, love proposal on its way for you, okay. And it says fairies like to be busy and a group of them is showing us that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps you get the job done. So this is this idea of coming together, okay, there could be teamwork involved here. For some of you, okay, I am getting that this, um, this offer, this proposal is coming towards you is more to do with business, okay. Most of you, I feel it's love, but some, like I say, it could be a business proposal has come together for you. And it's just something that you've always wanted. Working with others, okay, is going to um, have a positive effect on that. And I feel also, okay, this is about networking as well. It's about expanding um, your social circle. This could be, but it could also be um, opportunities in your career as well. Meeting people who know helpful people, this kind of vibe is what I'm getting. We've also got your shine from within, and that's interesting, okay, with this inner light, let it shine out, okay. You could certainly be healers here as well, okay, you could be um, moving into a more holistic um, career choice, there's something else I'm getting for some of you here. So shine from within, looks are only skin deep, true beauty shines from within, and it's time for you to shine. This is your time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. And I love that for you because it kind of sums up what we've already been talking about. Absolutely beautiful. I love it when spirit does that for us. Let us now get some divine feminine oracle cards for you. Male or female, it doesn't matter. It could be a beautiful message here for you. So for group number three, please, what do they need to know? So we've got Sakima and this is the red lady. I am pure strength. I honour my anger by giving it a voice. It's an interesting message coming through for you. For some of you, okay, um, there could have been, especially with this moon's energy, okay, cycles of anger that perhaps have been playing out. I feel that you are able, okay, to find this point of balance is what I'm getting, okay, regardless of what situations may occur here. I'm also feeling here, okay, that you are recognising your own strength. And as a result of that, okay, you don't get triggered as easily as another message I'm getting. At the bottom of this deck, we've got Lilith, the first woman. I am the voice of my body and soul. I choose the life and that I desire to live. Absolutely beautiful. And there's definitely emperor vibes there, okay. Taking the sort of um, bull by the horns, taking um, opportunities that are presented to you, making opportunities as well. And I also feel, okay, with this first woman, okay, um, male or female, it doesn't matter. I do feel this love offer that is on the horizon for some of you here, okay, could certainly be from somebody, okay, who ends up being your number one person. So that's what I've got for you, group number three. That's been your reading. Uh, if you've enjoyed, then leave me a like, comment below, let me know how it resonated with you, and I will catch you on another reading soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.